Two dozen new cameras are now keeping watch over East Cleveland streets. Those cameras are not there to monitor speed. City leaders are testing out license plate readers in hopes of cutting down on crime and something else. We need to stop the high speed chases. We need to stop them now. We must. But not everyone likes the idea of license plate readers. Some say there are other ways to cut down on police pursuits. News 5 investigator Joe Pakanaka shows us how the system works and brings us both sides of this debate. East Cleveland Police Chief Scott Garner said there were 105 police chases in his city in the first 120 days of 2022. Chief Garner is in favor of the new license plate reader system, but some East Cleveland lawmakers don't believe it's a good idea. We're trying everything we can to prevent unnecessary chases, especially for minor traffic offenses. East Cleveland Councilman Nathaniel Martin says the 2019 high speed chase related death of 13 year old Tamia Chapman was one of the saddest days in the city's history. That's why Martin is in support of license plate readers like this one now posted in all parts of East Cleveland hoping to reduce the need for police chases. The vehicle passes, they take a quick still picture of the license plate. The system provided by Flock Safety works to collect data on all vehicles on the road. What we know from the International Association of Chiefs of Police is that seven in 10 crimes are actually committed with a vehicle. Flock Safety says the system can quickly identify a stolen vehicle, a wanted offender, or an endangered person in connection with an amber or silver alert. Flock Safety says the system has also had an impact in reducing high speed chases. We have seen communities and agencies report that they have had less need to conduct da sometimes dangerous pursuits because they know that they'll get the investigative evidence. Martin says the system was installed using grant money. We're trying it. We will evaluate it and in about six months to a year, we'll know whether we want to continue to have it or not. I was not for it from the beginning. But East Cleveland Councilwoman Patricia Blahoviak believes the system is too obtrusive, collecting information on everyone, data that could be obtained in a data breach or lead to license plate misreads. If it were just aimed at somebody they were chasing and they were concerned that they had done some horrible crime, that's one thing. But when it's everybody going down the street and we've already gotten complaints that people have been stopped. They've been accused of being somebody who they aren't. Instead, Blahoviak is proposing legislation similar to a law she says is effectively being used in Philadelphia, limiting traffic stops and reducing police contact, which can lead to police chases. That stops the police from stopping people for minor offenses. For example, uh, people are stopped because they have one headlight out. And Councilwoman Lahoviak hopes to have the Philadelphia legislation restricting traffic stops up for a vote right here at East Cleveland City Hall later this summer. I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis. All right, thank you, Joe. And speaking of cameras, East Cleveland is one of the cities statewide that will now have to decide between traffic cameras or cash. The state Supreme Court ruling today that the state can divert funding away from communities that ticket drivers using red light or speed cameras. The lawsuit was filed by Newburgh Heights and East Cleveland. One civil rights attorney who's dealt with cases over Ohio's speed cameras says this ruling changes the landscape. If you believe that the traffic cameras are intended to promote public safety, reduce speeding, reduce accidents on the road, then sure, that's a great incentive for the municipalities to operate these cameras. If, however, you believe that the municipalities were only intending to use these cameras to raise revenue, then there's not much incentive left for them to operate them. The mayor of Newburgh Heights says they will comply with the ruling and that the village has already turned off its stationary traffic cameras. Now we tried to reach out to East Cleveland officials about cameras, but uh, we haven't heard back.